I just downloaded the newest version of Variety Pack and immediately something caught my eye, a new time trial option where you can use the feather. This is my favorite custom item in Mario Kart. It allows for endless ultra shortcuts to be made easy and for a fun little challenge to incorporate the feather, I decided to see if we can beat all the lap ones on the current world records for all 32 tracks. Here is how it went. This first one shouldn't be too difficult. The Luigi Circuit World Record does not utilize an ultra and we are going to have an easy ultra shortcut today. In fact, I'm gonna land in the off-road here, so that was not ideal. But yes, I do not think I could beat this challenge having to use only one feather, as you can see. A lot of the strats today are gonna take more than one. That was almost five seconds faster than world record. 31 to go, some of these are gonna be impossible. I'm pretty sure for this one, the finish line does not extend out that far in the out of bounds. I think I could just go this way, use my feather, or three of them for that matter, land back here, hit the wall, charge a standstill main turbo, and even though the key two showing up, I think we're golden, I think we're gonna get the lap count. We're gonna find out in a moment. Perfect, all right, that's two, and now we have Mushroom Gorge. This one's gonna be near impossible. 9.793, my only plan is to immediately go up and then immediately shoot back. And then if this counts the lap, this might be doable. Yeah, we almost got, we almost did it. We were only 1.3 seconds off. Got a startup boost, I'm going up the wall. Oh, if this could count the lap, I'm just gonna immediately use the Mushroom. Yes, 8.726, let's go! This might be the hardest one yet. I tried to get an ultra shortcut to work. I had no luck. So instead, we are going to be attempting a similar strategy to the box clip. Now, this is 34.095. We need to make sure we don't hit any walls or I don't think we're gonna be able to beat this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 drift left. Yes, this will count the lap for sure. And then I just need to make sure I make this. It's still gonna be close, but I think I got it. Oh, so sketch. I didn't even get the low jump, but that is okay. 33.2, we end up beating it by 0.8. Mushroom Cup completed, four down, 28 to go. This one should be the easiest one by a mile. I'm going to immediately use my feather, end up over here, pivot, use my feather trick. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I used all three feathers. It looks sketchy. The reason why though, I was trying to get the trick boost because whenever you use a feather, you can immediately trick giving you more speed. But I think we got this. This is going to be slightly faster. 19.114 is what we have to be. We just barely did it. 11.996. The lap one got improved by over six seconds in the last two years. And no, I'm not exaggerating. It literally was that much. So if we get the lap count here, we might be able to beat it. Let's see. Yes, 11.787. Can we do an ultra on this one? Maybe if I angle this way and I just use my feather and then use my next feather and use my third feather, I can go to the end and potentially get a lap count. I don't know, we'll find out. Let's see if this works. If this works, it'll make my life a lot easier. Otherwise I have to find a way to make all these shortcuts work. Oh, it worked. A lot has to go my way here. Okay, I'm using two feathers. I am hitting this. I am using a third feather and immediately tricking. I think this might be it. 10.07, okay, I, I got it, I got it. Just by 0.700, but wow. So one of my strategies now is whenever I'm at a standstill after doing a glitch, I pivot and I use feather and trick immediately and that makes it so I don't have to get a full standstill main turbo. I think I'll just do a standstill main turbo and then use two feathers. Oh, I'll just, I only have to use one. I think this is gonna count the lap. I'm pretty sure I can just use another feather right here. Oh, I clipped something cool. Nice, I'll use the third one here. Oh wait, it didn't let me go over that invisible wall. How can I go over every single invisible wall in the game, but then that one, it doesn't work. So odd. All right, I need to be 29.461, so I can't mess around anymore. Let's see if I got it. Yes, so this one is a little too easy because the, oh wait, what? What, I got counted out. The world record is 50.430 on lap one because they don't do the glitch on lap one. So we're gonna do the glitch and destroy it. Great idea. Oh! Uh, oh no. Okay, wait, no, this might still count. If this doesn't count, I'm definitely gonna have to reset immediately. We'll see though, we'll see. I have hope. Nice, 23 seconds. All right, this did not beat the lap two, but the challenge is only to beat the lap once. The world record is 35.136 on lap one. It's actually the slowest of the three laps, which works in our favor, just like Koopa Cape. 
So we're gonna immediately use two mushrooms and this skips the first key checkpoint. Usually you'd have to go into the out of bounds region, but we don't have to do that today. In fact, the other hardest part of the level is here where you have to make this jump shroomless. And we're just gonna use a feather and skip to the end. And voila, I think this will count the lap. Demon has had the world record on no glitch and glitch for so long, I don't even know. He's the most dominant Maple Tree Way player of all time. Niyake has 6.016 on this track. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where we meet our match. That is an impossible thing to defeat. I could not get the full lap skip shortcut to work. So instead we're doing the old school ultra shortcut with two feathers. Great. Not pretty, but we'll take it. Let's see if this is enough to defeat 36.842. It's gonna be close call. It's gonna be very close. All right, wall glitch. Okay, I think we're gonna defeat it. I think we're gonna defeat it by half a second or so. Oh, okay, I kinda messed that part up. This is fine though. And then I can use a feather at the end. 36, 8, 4, 2, we beat it just barely. Oh, that was so close. Now this is a track that is known as one that has no shortcuts, but when you're using three feathers, every shortcut is possible. We just have to beat 34, 9, 5, 5. This should be pretty easy with an ultra shortcut. One feather, two feathers, three feathers. Yes, perfect. Oh, that actually works so much better than I anticipated. Wow, this is such a fun challenge. It just shows, there's probably more future shortcuts to be discovered and even implemented RTA in Mario Kart Wii. Granted, we're using feathers today, but there's just so much shortcut potential in this game. It's just so broken. This is gonna be an ultra shortcut frenzy here for a while. Using feather number one, feather number two, we're gonna bonk, we get so much air. Oh my gosh, we just actually lost everything. We're gonna fly down now. I don't think that I'm gonna have to use all three feathers to even do the ultra. This, this is the same strategy used for 200cc and I'm pretty sure it'll work flawlessly here. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was fun. We 30. Oh, wait, I got no lap count. So for this one, gonna use my first feather, gonna use my second feather. It should be enough. Uh, 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 uh. The finish line, as well as the first key checkpoint, extends super far out on this level. Yes, yes. Okay, I, that should work. You gotta be pretty parallel to the start line because yeah, they extend so far out, you can accidentally go past the first key checkpoint and screw yourself over on this track. Wait, how did that not work? I guess you just can't go through that ceiling. That was extremely unexpected. I don't know if I'm gonna beat this one now. Okay, no, we got the lap count, 35. The world record was 42.7. The power of ultra shortcuts, ladies and gentlemen. I need to make sure I don't get counted. Yep. Even though I can go through invisible walls with the feather, it doesn't mean I, am immune to fall boundary, so I'm gonna have to use two feathers and get over the fall boundary, and then pivot and use the third feather so I don't have to waste too much time, and I need to be 15.678 here. I think we can do it just barely. That was perfect. I'm not gonna be able to do it much better than that. We got it, 14.5, amazing. All right, so we finished the Wii tracks except for Grumble, and now we're going to the retros. All right, so uh, this is the same story as Koopa Cape. The world record, has a 25.5 lap one. And it's crazy, I did not realize this world record was sub one minute in this game. That is insane by Guy, one of the original Peach Beach legends for no glitch and for glitch. And this doesn't even beat his lap two or three, but luckily we only have to defeat his lap one. That's Peach Beach, ladies and gentlemen, cool. Can I just use my feathers and skip the whole level? Probably, this is gonna work. I got the Lakitu showing up. I don't think this is gonna count the lap. I think I screwed this up. Let's find out. Wow, I actually got the lap count, but I didn't beat the world record. It should be pretty easy. I just gotta make sure I use the feathers early so I don't get screwed by the fall boundary. I'm going the wrong way. Why, what, 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 what? So we gotta make sure we don't go too low here because that's where the fall boundary is. And then we gotta make sure we land early. Oh, that, that was something else. That was pure beauty right there. And then we can just skip the gap here. Yes, I think I got it, I think I got it. Are you kidding? My strategy is gonna be to start super wide, curve inside, use my feathers before the fall boundary. Gonna use two of them, save the last one for probably cutting this gap right here. I could just do, use it right here. That should work, that should work. Yes, I think 
We're gonna defeat it. 19.608, we are not on the spear, but it should be enough. 18, 19, oh my gosh. I defeated it by 0.33 milliseconds. This is gonna be one of the hardest ones. I think the only way we defeat it is if we do this shortcut right here. 13.210, this is Logan's world record of over 1,000 days. Lap one is five seconds faster than lap two and three. 13.9, oh, I'm 0.7 off. I gotta try this again. There's no way we're doing the other strategy where you go backwards on the straightaway at the end and then hit the checkpoint. There's no way we're gonna be able to do that faster than him, especially because the feather is pretty slow air time. I think we have to go forwards and just have a perfect beginning. <laughs> Wait a second. Go, go, ah! Beautiful. This is it. If this isn't it, I'm done. Come on. 13.5, I can't beat this. <laughs> I love the feather. It is safe to say this is the hardest shortcut by a lot. However, I think I might have just beat it. Gonna really need a miracle to beat this one. That was really good. I might get it here. Kind of messed up the ending. Wow. Oh, that was good. Ooh, wait a second. Come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Yeah, 11.943, oh my gosh. That took forever. I had to totally come up with a different strategy and then I destroyed it. 33.806 on Mario Raceway. This one should be absolutely free. I imagine I just use a feather here. Use another feather here and use another feather here. Can we get on top? Can we get on top? Oh, you just fly off of it. You have no control. You just kind of slide in whatever direction the pipe is facing. This might count the lap still, and we'll still beat the record. Ghost Valley 2 took longer than the rest of them combined. That is insane. This should be one of the tougher ones. Only 12.580 by Jack. We're gonna be doing the ultra shortcut as well, although we're not gonna be doing the same method of going forward a bit and obeying the 95% rule. We're just gonna be landing much further back and hopefully have enough speed with the Flame Runner to defeat it. Let's see. Oh, nice, 11.6. All right, wasn't too bad after all. The triple feather strategy makes the ultra absolutely free. This is actually one of the hardest clips in the game. This post is extremely difficult to get air off of, but when you do get air, you fly sky high. So the world record does not go for the ultra on lap one. So I'm gonna match and not do ultra either and instead use my, fe my feathers to do stupid, silly shortcuts as expected and have some fun that way and get out of the water here. <laughs> and hopefully this counts the lap. I think it's gonna be about 50-50. I'm not sure if I skipped a key checkpoint or not. But yeah, the world record uses the zip zip on this track and does the ultra on lap three. 28.514, we beat the world record by 0 .009 on lap one. Okay, not the greatest, but we'll take it. So 41.070 here, but obviously we're gonna be going for an ultra. You can use the mini map to kind of figure out exactly where to go. Burn two feathers. I'm just gonna go back to right here. Use my third feather. Oh, 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 I had a little bit of the standstill May Turbo spin happening. I shot to the side. I think this will count the lap and we'll be good. Let's see what we got. 23.9. <laughs> I'm a little confused on how I'm gonna beat this one. I'm gonna use the first feather here and then we have to evade. Oh, see, we have to evade the zipper. If we go over the zipper in any way while burning a feather, it's just not gonna work. See, I'm just flying into the wall because of the angle here. Now, here's how this one's gonna work. I'm doing the 200cc shortcut because we have to beat 24071 and that's with the 
bullet bike ultra. Now I've already hit a checkpoint, so I need to make sure I hit all of them here. So I'm gonna use my third, my third feather, and hopefully I get the lap count. If this works, we'll be golden. Otherwise, I have to really figure out the right play. Okay, we got it, 21 seconds. See, I didn't know how to do the regular ultra because if I would use a feather on these zipper boosters right here, it just would make me fly off of it, bounce back to the main road. I was not gonna be able to do the ultra, so I had to do the 200cc ultra variant to make that one work. I am gonna have to theorize how to defeat this one. Gotta get really crafty on this one. And a nose dive. Oh, that was beautiful, that was beautiful. All right, so we cannot do the ultra on this track. The uh, finish line extends super far, far out. It made the ultra very difficult. Instead, we have to get really crafty here and combine multiple shortcuts together. That was perfect, let's go. I think this will count the lap. If this counts the lap, I'm gonna get it for sure. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Yes! Oh, I did not think that was gonna count. Wow, that was perfect. The first key checkpoint on Bowser Castle 3 is pretty close to the starting line from what I remember. Similar problem to Desert Hills. So once again, we are not going for an ultra shortcut. Instead, we're gonna burn our first feather to skip the checkpoint and that will allow us to only have to hit the last key checkpoint to get a lap count. So we're gonna do the giant shortcut that everyone knows. And then we're gonna also do a shortcut that usually doesn't count the lap. It's the very last U-turn on the mini map. Doesn't count the lap, but it's gonna work because we skip the rest of them. We only have to hit the last checkpoint and this will make it all work out. We should be able to beat Logan's 38.667 with all of these shortcuts. I mean, if I can't, I'm gonna be pretty freaked out because otherwise we're gonna have to find a way to do an ultra. Wow, this is gonna be really close. 36, 37, 38, 38, 652. We just beat it by like a couple milliseconds. Parkway is 19.546 by Invincible. Requires a lot of setup. I'm pretty sure I could just burn the feather burn a second feather, burn a third feather, <laughs> and complete this in like 10 seconds. <laughs> 27,563, uh, that's ridiculous. Let's see if this works, <laughs> having too much fun. So we're burning our third feather in order to do the shortcut that Logan does here. This is a shortcut, I believe he is the only person to pull this cut off, but we have the feather, so we're fine. <laughs> Let's see if we actually defeat it though. <laughs> that was actually the most fun lap of the whole session. That was so much fun, 26.3. <laughs> I wish the feather was in the game. That shortcut I did at the beginning was so much fun. I have to say, this is easily one of the most fun videos I've recorded in quite some time. Like, this is so stupid, but absolutely hilarious. <laughs> this is the best track for this. Oh, okay, let's see what we get. <laughs> we beat it by 10 seconds, cool. So unlike most tracks in the game, this world record does not have an ultra shortcut. And the reason why is the ultra is so ridiculous. It is only possible with tool assist and it's only possible to be done on like lap two and three with this crazy setup. So instead we're gonna be going for the 99999cc ultra. Oh, to perfection. I think we got this one wrapped up. This will count the lap for sure. And what's great about this is didn't even have to use an ultra. I got to use some crafty strategies because the checkpoints on Peach Gardens are really lenient on the like the middle part of the level. It's super surprising that we're just, wait, wait, I didn't beat it. I have to redo it. I cannot believe I just lost. The world record is with Flame Runner, by the way. It's not like it's with the spear and it has some big speed advantage. We're gonna try to cut more now. We're, we're, we're taking this to a whole new level. We're serious about this after that last failed attempt. I cannot believe I didn't beat it. Are you serious right now? This is, wow. Casey is a speed demon out here, making it very difficult to defeat this challenge. This should work, this should work for sure. Come on, come on. Oh. For this one, I feel like I need to be a little more aggressive on the shortcuts if I'm gonna defeat it. Or I just need to drive better, <laughs> one or the other. All right, good start, good start. I gotta evade this chain chomp. It's gonna be a little bit of a hassle. And I'm going for a totally different angle this time. I'm going for like this angle. Let's see if this works. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, perfection. I better beat it right here. The fact I barely lost was so hilarious and sad. 
but I think we got this now. We got, we got this, we got this. 38.8, we only defeated it by 0.9 seconds. It just shows how insane that lap one is. This world record has one of the most insane lap ones in the game. 39 point, let me look, 495. I'm gonna try to do something really silly and see if it works, because we're here to have fun. I mean, the world record has to do just the ridiculous fence shortcut three times. And then on top of it, it has to do the double spin drift. It's just a lot. This record is pain. I used to time trial this track, and I can tell you right now, it is just one of the most difficult non-ultra shortcuts in the game. It's so frustrating. Let's see if we defeated it here. 37, 38, 39.296. We'll take it just barely. I did the most ridiculous shortcut ever. Was able to skip three U-turns back to back. Did the eight deluxe shortcut. And only defeated it by under 200 milliseconds. All right, I'm gonna try to wheelie off this. <laughs> Use the feather. Oh, 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 it worked. Okay, I have two feathers left. I know this looks insane, but I wanna see if I can get the lap count doing something different than the ultra shortcut. There's a feather here, use one here. <laughs> we have to beat 29 seconds, so I think we got this. Come, come on, come on, come on. Oh, truly, I cannot believe this track even has an ultra shortcut. This is one of the hardest shortcuts ever pulled off in Mario Kart Wii history, top three for sure, and only a handful of people in the world have ever pulled it off. 29.752 lap one by Logan on this world record. We're mixing it up, doing a little bit different version of the ultra shortcut, just to spice things up considering I don't have to do the setup, I don't have to do the respawn. Figured it'd be more interesting if we try doing that shortcut you guys just saw, a combo with this, and see if we could defeat it. 28, 29.028. We defeated it, and now we have the final boss, Grumble Volcano, and I don't think I'm gonna defeat this one. We are 31 out of 32 right now. Grumble Volcano by Niake is 6.016. It's gonna be an absolute miracle to defeat this one, considering it's three seconds faster than the second fastest lap one of any track, and I don't know, I almost feel like mushrooms are better. I mean, obviously it's way easier to land on the rock with the feather, but this thing is not very fast, and I can't really use a feather at the end to defeat Miyake. I didn't even get a lap count right there. I am gonna really struggle on this one. This is gonna take a lot of attempts, probably more than the rest of the tracks combined. I'm hoping I can pull it off. I don't know though. I, I, I'm trying to think of strategies I can potentially use to defeat this. Nothing's coming to mind right now. I'm still almost a second away from defeating him. Wait, wait, this is it! Go, go, go! 6.7, this is impossible! Oh wait, this is really good. Wow, that was my best run. Yeah, I'm still 400 milliseconds behind. Oh, that was such a good start. No, 6.3, oh, I'm right there, I'm right there, I could do this. Perfect. Wow, 6.181. This is the closest I've been. I'm starting to lose hope though, even though I'm getting closer. 200 milliseconds is still a lot to shave off. Well, I think that's a good stopping point. <laughs> 